Hello and welcome to this Casia overview video, my name is Mark and I will be your presenter today. Due to the length of this presentation we have split the video into two parts, this is part 1 and as soon as you have finished viewing this you can move on and continue with the rest of the presentation in part 2. If you have any questions at the end of this video then please give one of our dedicated Casia account managers at SoHostIt.com a call. You can find our contact details on our website. For this please go to www.sohostit.com and click on the Contact Us tab located on the top menu bar. Ok let's get started. As you see there are tabs along the top of each page. We are going to go over each section of the Casia administration area and discuss each of these tabs in a brief manner. I will try to give you as much information as I can, but please do remember that there are dedicated training videos for each section of the Casia administration area, so if you require more details please refer to these. First up you will see that we have the Home tab. This tab is just a hierarchy view of the Casia agents running on your Casia server, such as the number of users online. There is also graphical information displayed to give you an idea of the patch status and operating system types of the machines that are being monitored by the Casia system. Then you will see down here that Casia has a built-in task and messages function. You can use this to manage certain tasks and also send messages to other administrators. Under layout dashboard you will see that you have the option to change the colors and pick and choose what is displayed on the dashboard and in what order you see it. So if you want patch status to be at the very top, simply click the up arrow next to patch status, and it will move patch status to the top. Now click apply and when you go back to the home page you will see that your patch status is now shown at the top of your page. Moving right along to the audit tab, this tab displays the audit information from the machines that are being monitored by the KCS server. The audits cover a number of things as you can see here, you have a system info and installed apps. One thing that I would like to say about installed apps is that it counts each executable as an application. As you can see down the left hand side the system has quite an extensive list of things that the Casia agent picks up when it runs an audit. Then looking down here you have a machine summary which is essentially an individual audit of each machine. Just below that, you have another few options that we are not going to cover this time. But SoHostIt.com does provide a training video specifically for the audit area. In that training video it covers in depth detail of each function that is available to you. Over here on the right hand side as you can see you have the ability to do different types of audits on the machines. The baseline audit is automatically done each time you install a Casia agent. You also have the ability to run the latest audit and system information. These audits are all easy to do and as you can see can also be scheduled to run periodically as you require them. Onto the scripts tab, this is where most of the actions are performed in Casia. Here is where you schedule functions to run automatically, this section is extremely powerful and can save you hundreds of man hours of work. Once your tech guys have mastered this area they should be able to manage around 1200 individual PCs on their own. There are a large number of scripts already designed and built and waiting for you to use. On top of this you have the ability to create and deploy your own custom scripts making this a truly flexible option. The best part about this section for me is when a client needs to install a piece of software on all of their 200 machines, all I do is create a simple script telling the machine where to find the install file. Then I assign my custom script to the machines that need to have the software installed and hey presto 200 machines set up and ready to use with the new software. The monitoring tab is where you assign monitoring sets to your machines and groups. You can also set them to your SNMP sets and workgroup networks. You have the ability to set system checks so that you can monitor external devices such as websites and network enabled printers, as well as having the ability to monitor custom applications. On the left hand side you will see the monitor log button, this is where you go to view the logs of any monitored sets that you have. If you click here on the monitoring log button you will see that there is a machine on the monitored list. Then if you click on that machine it will show you the list of monitored sets that are assigned to that machine, by default it shows a bar chart with what the monitored sets are set to. Again this is all covered in detail in the monitoring training video. 
The next tab is ticketing but for now we are going to skip it and cover it in another video. Now patch management. Patch management is where everything is done as far as patching your customers machines. As you can see here you schedule your customers machines to be scanned at the interval of your choice. Then over here you have access to the patch status tab. This shows you the current status of the patch relating to your monitored machines, such as how many of them are installed or missing or even pending installation. The system will also tell you how many of them have failed installation. The initial update button is used whenever you add a new machine to the KCS server. You can select initial update and it will scan and install the necessary patches for that machine. Just one thing to be aware of is that this can cause forced reboots. So if the machine is currently being used by someone they may find the PC shutting down on them. Within Casia you have the ability to run pre and post script before initial update, so if you want to run a pre script on a machine before you patch it then a post script after the patch manager has run then you can use this option to assign it. The automatic update feature through Casia allows you to run automatic updates on selected machines at set intervals, this can be set to be done daily, weekly or even monthly. This is a separate feature to the Microsoft Update program. The machine history is pretty self-explanatory, it shows you the history for the patching up each machine. Machine Update and Patch Update are really the same thing. Machine Update allows you to assign a patch based on the machine, whereby Patch Update lets you look at the patches that are needed by each machine and allows you to allocate which patches you wish to install. Rollback works in much the same way as Microsoft Rollback and allows you to roll back the patch installation should you experience issues with that machine. Just remember that you do have to do the rollback in order just like you do if you were doing it in Microsoft Windows. Cancel update. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can cancel up and coming scheduled updates that you no longer wish to run. The last few options like reboot action file source and so on are covered in detail in the patch management training video. This brings us to the end of part 1 of the KCA overview video. Please start part 2 of this video to continue with the rest of the presentation.